Hey Jetty Rockers, welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing and I'm Mike D. Well today we're going to do a catch and cook redfish baked whole in the oven. So this is going to be pretty cool guys. If you've never baked a whole redfish in the oven, you got to try it. It's really good. Or even baked whole on the grill is outstanding. So real quick guys, check out this clip of Amber catching tonight's dinner. She caught a real nice redfish the other day and I'll put a link in the video for the full video that uh, when we caught all the redfish a couple days ago. So you guys go check that out. But uh, real quick, check out this clip of her catching the redfish. Then I'm gonna see you for a real short minute at the cleaning table. Then I'll see you guys in the kitchen. And I apologize for the noise, guys. They're working over there. Gotta make that money. <laughs> fish that one feels good feel like a good fish babe yeah, got a spectator right here <laughs> I'm gonna let it get on that trim tab babe how uh -huh. big it grab the net summer That's a good one, babe. Oh, that's a real good one. <laughs> Summer, no, 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 no. Summer, don't do that. Wait till he's up. Oh, that's nice. There you go, Summer. <laughs> he's working you, babe. Summer, get him, baby. There it is. That's a caught fish. There. How's that one? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Thank you. This one looks too big. Alright, let's see. Alright, let's see what we got here. That's the biggest one today, though. I know. What's the biggest they can be? 18 to 27. Alright, 18 to 27. Finally, got a good one. Now let's see. He's legal. I'm pretty sure he's within slot. Golly, I can get the hook out. There we go. All right, let's see if he's legal. All right, let's see if he's Maybe 20. He's not. Oh yeah, he's 24. Is that good? Oh yeah, 20, you're cool. Yep, you're gotta be 27, he's 24 and a half. Okay. All right. You're it goes All right guys, it's nice to keep it red. All right guys, I got my redfish here. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and scale it. Maybe. So using a spoon. Been so long since I've scaled a fish, that ain't funny. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish scaling this and I'll get back with you in a minute. Alright guys, I got my redfish completely scaled. Sorry for the uh, shadow. The way the sun is, it's kind of casting a shadow here. I got my redfish completely scaled, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the head off and we're gonna gut it. I'm not going to put that on film. You guys kind of know how to do that. Just cut the head off and gut it, and we'll get right back to you. All right, guys, I got my redfish here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a couple slits in it. Like that. On both sides. Just like that. We got those slits in it like that, guys. Both sides. Alrighty. 
So now all I'm going to do, guys, real quick, I'm going to go wash my hands. All right, guys, well, I've already greased my dish with the olive oil spray, so it's non-stick now. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take some zesty Italian dressing, zesty Italian. We're just going to put this all over it. We get it all in the holes there. Just like that. Move it around. Okay. Same thing. There we go. Just like that, guys. That's about what you're looking at right there. Alright, guys. Now that I've got all the salad dressing all over my fish, I'm going to put a little bit more in here. So I have a little bit more juice. Put some in the cavity here, too. There we go. Now I'm going to put some Old Bay on it. I should use that other thing. Maybe that's better. Oh yeah. Just like that, guys. Alright. There we go, guys. Now we're going to cover up some tinfoil and put it in the oven. Alright, guys. Cover this up. For the size of this fish, I'm going to bake it at 375 for about 45 minutes. Then I'm going to go ahead and check it. It should be done, but if not, I'll put it back in for another 15 minutes. All right, J.D. Rockers, it's out of the oven. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, that, oh boy. Yeah, that's done. Oh, yes. All right. Okay. Totally done, and it looks really good. So we're gonna let this rest for a little bit, for like 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take all the meat off the bone, because my family don't like to eat around the bone, so I'll take all the meat off for them. I'll put it on another plate, and then I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh boy, look at that, guys. Man, oh man, that looks delicious. Very good looking. Okay guys, what I do as a personal preference for my family, I take all the skin off. So it just has the meat sitting there with no skin on it because nobody in my family likes the taste of fish skin. But some people really do like it. This happens, my girls and myself, we rather not eat it. So I peel all the skin back so it just exposes the flesh of the fish. And then I'll take all this off the bone, put it on another plate. Put some sauce on it and we'll be good to go. All right guys, well I got the first part already taken off and a little trick you can do is come over here, pick up at the front of this backbone and the whole backbone will come off just like that. And there you go. All you gotta do is peel the skin off and you are good to go. All right guys, well there's the finished product. You guys can make a lot nicer presentation if you want, but like I said, my family don't like eating it off the bone. And they don't like eating it with skin, so I basically just got to take it apart for everybody, and then we'll eat it like this. So we eat it over rice with corn. That's basically how we eat it. But right now I'm just going to grab some of this, and I'm going to go taste test it on the couch, and I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, guys. Well, here we are. Here's my baked whole redfish. Go ahead and try it. I already knew it was going to be good because I have made it this way before. Usually when I do redfish like this, I actually put it in tin foil and put it on the grill. So this is the first time I've actually put it in the oven, but the recipe is pretty much exactly the same. And I know it's always good, so go ahead and try it again. It's really good. I know a lot of people say, hey, you like to see me do taste tests with my family because it's always just me and some of y'all don't want to take my word for it i've been questioning my palate maybe my palate ain't all that great but my family doesn't like being on film eating i've got them to do it a couple times but they really don't like to do that and that's something i'm not going to force them to do i mean y'all can take my word for it if something's good or not i mean that's all up to you guys that's you know the beauty of it but i'm telling you you can't go wrong with oven baked Redfish. You just can't. It's very mild. It's awesome. It's really good. 
and baking it whole like that just gives redfish a completely different flavor. And to be honest with you, you guys have heard me say this before, I'm not a real big fan of redfish. I can take them or leave them. They're not one of my favorite fish to eat. Fried, they're pretty good. On the half shell, they're really good. I like that. And this way is really good. But this way actually has a totally different taste because you're cooking it with a bone in and you're cooking the whole fish. So it has a very fresh taste. It's not fishy, not fishy at all. Even with the bloodline still attached, it is not fishy. It's just really good. Well, guys, I want to thank you guys very much for hanging out with me tonight and watching this Catch and Cook. And I hope you guys liked it. And uh, I want to thank every one of you guys for subscribing to my channel. We're over 10,000. We're almost 11,000. And that's awesome. That's because each and every one of you guys are awesome. And I appreciate you guys completely. I really do. You guys humble me. You guys mean a lot to me. I love talking with you all. Lately, I've been meeting a lot of you guys out on the water or out in public. And I really appreciate when you guys come up to me. I'm okay with it. Please come up to me, introduce yourself, and talk to me. That's how we meet. That's how, that's how the whole thing works, guys. Well, guys, it's good to see you again soon here on the water. Tight lines, Jody Rockers. Please don't forget to subscribe, and thumbs up are always appreciated. See you all later. Hey, Jody Rockers. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'd like to invite you all to go follow me on my Facebook page at Jody Rocks Fishing, and also my Instagram page. I also have a JRF apparel page, which will send you a link to my Teespring page, where I have some cool shirts and some mugs. I appreciate you guys very much. Go check out the description in the bottom of this video. I'll have the links. Tight lines, Jody Rockers.